Mr. Considine, or Mr. C as we call him, is my hero. He's the leader that we all aspire to be. He's compassionate, he's motivated, he's passionate about this hospital and about the children of this community. Bill has been an advocate and a guardian in his own way of uh, children's interests, uh, of making certain that the hospital uh, in that first line of defense had the resources that it needed in order to offer protection uh, to children who were in need. Well, Children's Hospital, in my mind, is, is uh, part of the fabric of our wonderful community uh, with no ifs, ands, or buts. It's focused on children. We try to do things through the eyes of children. Uh, we use a family-centered care approach uh, to everything we do. Early on, we, we had a very difficult case of child abuse uh, in Summit County. And um, I was part of a team that brought together the heads of all the agencies called the Summit Meeting. Judge Cannell was part of it, Bill Considine was part of it. The heads of every agency came together at one time. The reason that I love Mr. Considine so much is that he always does the right thing for children and families and there was no question but that we would pull that program off and we did. It was called the Family Recovery Center and it was a joint project of really this entire region, all of us pulling together. And that's really um, what Mr. C symbolizes to all of us, is doing the right thing for the children and families of the region. I've always, because of my parents, had a heart for children and had a heart for this community. And I just applaud the work of the Guardian Ad Litem program, uh, what CASA is all about, uh, the vision that was behind it to get that started. I've seen firsthand how that's impacted folks and made a difference in their lives. And you can often take a situation that might be a negative one and you can turn it into a learning experience. Volunteerism is one of the best ways that we can give back and push our society forward in really good ways. And I would say that if someone was thinking about how can I give back, how can I pay it forward, that being a Guardian Med Lida Casa member is a wonderful thing to do. It's a little scary at the beginning because you feel like you hold the future of this child in your hands, but what better place to be that we surround the CASA program with all the help that they need. I just think it's a wonderful opportunity. We all get in situations where you might make a bad life choice. And that doesn't have to end a life because you made a bad life choice. If you can learn from that, if you can have people like the guardian ad litem individuals there to hear the story, offer some advice, get you back on the right path, oftentimes you're better for that. And in many cases you're better, better for that because you have an experience you could share with others. And it brings a sense of a reality to the, the whole kind of life journey we're on and you learn from that. So uh, absolutely, it's made a huge difference. When we look at the child care safety net in Summit County, which is significant and substantial and has been developed over the years, there is nobody who uh, is more deserving of this award than Bill Considine, who has led the effort in so many ways, brought so many agency people together, um, been a resource from everything from uh, early childhood uh, health care to uh, teenage uh, issues of uh, delinquency. He has sort of covered the spectrum of the care for children in Summit County. The work is greater than it's ever been. The challenge before our court system is greater than it's ever been. And we need more hands on deck quite honestly, and we need not only hands on deck, but we need people that have that passion uh, and really embrace the work, because when they do, it's just going to make a huge difference uh, in the lives of the children of our community.